Yo, what's poppin' my people? It's your boy Crooks, you're great, back at you guys with another banger of a UFC 4 video. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing some brother-on-brother -brother crime right here as we're taking on Jay Jeezer uh, here in the best of three. Hopefully you guys had a good holidays, hopefully you guys were able to spend some time with your family, all your families was safe, uh, and hopefully you guys have good weather this whole week as we bring in the new year, you feel me? And what better way to really have the last week of 2022 but with the bank some banger of the fights right here against other content creators so like i said we're going up against jay jeezer here in this video he's using nick diaz i'm using nate here in the walter Wade division now in this matchup i don't really want to be doing this i don't want to be getting pressured but jay jeezer is doing a good job of pressuring with straight strikes as well as just walking forward he's going down to the body nicely we're trying to we're trying to gain some space, but that's not really fighting up close is really not what you want to be doing with Nate Diaz. I'm not gonna cap. So we're trying to launch off some combinations, hitting him with some nice block counter uppercuts as these as we block body punches. But you see, he's just maintaining the pressure. We're starting to go down to the body a little bit too with the jab straights to the body. We're trying to slip uppercut, trying to catch him. But he's doing a good job of just maintaining the pressure. And we're just trying to take our time. We try to hit us with that pull counter elbow with Nick Diaz. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. We're just trying to catch him entering in the pocket with a nice jab straight of Nate. Now, the funny thing about Nate's jab straight is, like, he can literally throw it stationary fast and moving forward fast. So, you literally have to be aware of that jab straight. As we catch him with a nice slip, slip, uh, slip straight, I'm sorry. Heard him right there. Gain ourselves a little bit of space. Trying to chop away at that block. Catch him with a straight right there. And like I was saying, that jab straight and the straight just in general on Nate is ridiculously fast. So if you're going to be fighting against Nate, you got to be aware of that at all times, man. Even if you're going down to the body, that straight, that jab straight will track your ass going down. So you got to be careful. Got to be careful. Nice uppercut right there by Jay Jeezer, though. He's doing some solid work, too. If you see our head health stats, he's actually in the lead right now, even though I've gotten the rock. We're chipping away at the block. We miss on the slip straight. He's going down. We hit him with a nice uppercut as he whiffed on the body punch. Pop him with a good straight. Hurt him. Double jabbing into the block. We're not really trying to rush anything because if we get caught entering in the pocket with Nate Diaz, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. So we're just trying to stay patient with it. Just trying to let it kind of snowball is what I would kind of name it. We're just getting the damage, and then if something arises or something pops up or the opportunity pops up for us to be a finisher, then we're going to try to go for that. But we're just taking our time, fainting to the body, trying to look for that uh, that slip uppercut because he's now trying to go for uppercuts as well as he's anticipating us going down to the body. So here we're just launching off good combinations. JG just trying to press forward. Nice straight right there by him. He's trying to move off the center line, but we catch him right there and then go down to the body. Try to catch him with an uppercut as I tried to anticipate him ducking. And then that's going to be the end of the first round. Very solid work from both of us there in the first round. He was applying a lot of pressure early in the round. We were able to make him pay by rocking him two or three times in that round. So we're going to try to carry that momentum here into the second round. And look at the stamina usage on both of our ends. His stamina usage is absolutely pristine. So is mine. With the head health damage, we are in a little bit of a lead. So we just want to try to build on that. So we start trying to go down to the body just because I know he's going to be camping on that uh, on high block just because his head health is pretty low. And we did rock him. So here we're just fainting off strikes now, trying to bait him into throwing something. But he's doing a good job of not taking the traps. But we catch him right there with a good lead hook. Go down to the body with two clean body punches. Hurting him going down to the body again with a nice straight. We're anticipating an uppercut or a lead hook coming back. But we're firing off a clean combination. Block breaker right there. Heard him. Faint to the body. He actually popped out a straight. And I didn't anticipate that. But we get a rock anyways right there. We're pushing him up against the fence. And like in my last video, we're trying to look for that finish. This is really where you want to start putting the heat on your opponents. That's what we're doing right here to Jay Jeezer. We're trying to get him to make a mistake. And he does right there with throwing the elbow. And we pull counter it with a nice uppercut. Nice straight right there by him, though. Roxas as we feign it off with a body uppercut. Catch him with a clean uppercut, but get the damage back right there. 
And it's it's looking pretty close. If we can land one or two more combinations, we might be able to get him out of there as we time out a beautifully timed straight. Heard him. He's trying to move his head off the center line. We're fainting to the body. Just try to get that slip uppercut in, but he's not falling for it. Catch him with a straight. Put him to sleep. You feel me? We snowballed that thing, and we took the right opportunity, timed out that beautifully timed straight, and got the job done right there. In the first fight of the best of three, I'm going to hit the signature Nate Diaz taunt, or uh, conclusion taunt, pretty much. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the second fight that we do have for you guys here in the best of three. Now, here we are, guys. We're taking on Jay Deezer again in a brother-on-brother -brother matchup. He's Nick. I'm Nate. But in this fight, it's going to be a little bit different now. We had one fight to kind of get a feeler out because I've only fought Jay Deezer one time. Um, so we kind of got a, a game plan on what we're going to try to execute in this fight. And we're going to try to work the body a little bit more than what we did in the last fight. That's what we're going to try to do. That's the game plan heading into this second fight. We're popping off the jab straight still looking for the slip straights just because I know he's going to throw a lot of jab straights. Trying to time out the uppercut because I know he's trying to go down to the body. But look, we're already starting to work the body a little bit. We're backing up when we need to. Jab straight into the block. We're trying to chip away at that block out so that way he has to move his head. And then when he moves his head, that's when we're going to try to get a lot of the body work done. So we're just still taking our time, popping out the jab straight. And look at us, the lead hook landed to the body. We missed right there on the uppercut, unfortunately. But he's back to applying a lot of pressure. But we're not going to really be in a rush because we are going to try to counter the pressure with the body punches. And that's a, that's a simple way to be able to counter pressure heavy fighters. Just go down to the body, drain their stamina because a lot of guys will just stand in front of you. They'll just stand in front of you and if you, if you can start working their body and try to put them in a mixer, they're going to start to back up. And then that's how you alleviate, not only alleviate that pressure, but you also are able to get finishes on high pressure guys. So just be aware of that for those of you guys that are newer to the game or that are struggling with pressure fighters. That's one way to be able to uh, to stop pressure. So we're going down to the body with two good hooks and then back up with the lead hook. Go right there with a jab straight lead body hook. Launching off a good combo to the head just to try to keep him honest with his block staying up. Right there, dab to the body, jab to the head into a straight. He tries to go with an uppercut because he sees that we're going down to the body a lot. And look at the body health stats. Or look at the body health on him and the head health. And then look at the body health and head health on us. We're already at a big advantage halfway through the first round. So it's not looking too good. It looks like we figured out the game plan to being able to counter this pressure-heavy style of JGZer. So we're just taking our time. We're breaking that block down. Nice body hook right there by him. We don't want to overcommit and drain our stamina because he is going to the body as well. So we just need to be careful. Catch him right there with a beautifully timed straight lead body hook. Catching him with a clean combo right there. Hurting him just a little bit. Look, and he's lowering his block now, and that's a very, very good sign for us. If he's anticipating us going down to the body... Then we're going to be able to start unloading with combinations to the head. We just got to pick the right time to do it. Pressing forward. And now he's on his back foot. And this is not where really where a Nick Diaz player really wants to be at. So we're making him whiff on strikes. We're throwing that jab jab straight to the, to the block right there. Not really rushing in. We're still staying patient. But now he's fighting off his back foot a lot. So we're going to start using the teep kicks to the body. Just to kind of stack up that damage. Right there, crack him with a nicely timed straight off of the lead uppercut. Miss on the combination, and that's the end of the first round. Very, very solid work from us there in the first round. We were able to counter that pressure to the body, and by the end of the first round, we had him backing up. So this is what we want to keep doing. We want to keep going to the head and going to the body as well as we touch gloves and we're back underway. He tries to stock and slap me right there. Really, Jay Jeezer? I'm going to take that. I took that personally. I'm not going to cap. So we rock him just for trying to stock and slap me right there. I'm not going to cap. So he's timing out a nicely timed straight right there. He's slipping a lot now. So that's going to leave the body open even more for some combinations. So he might be able to get this finish to the body. I'm not going to cap. Okay, we're applying pressure. Trying to time out that straight that we've been timing out pretty much for the last two fights right here. We're hurting him. Breaking the block down. Launching the jab hook off. Get some nice damage off. 
Popping that jab out. Still going down to the body. We're not just being a headhunter right here. Still going down to the body with two clean combinations to the body. Right there. Still going with the jab lead hook. Simple combo. Teep kick. Does some nice solid damage for us. Applying a little bit of pressure right here with Nate. But we don't want to get caught with a stationary combination. That's not what I'm trying to do. You notice how I'm getting my shots in and then I'm moving back. Unless I'm planning and trying to rip to the body like I did right there. Just taking our time, being patient with it. The stats, the health stats on him are really low. So we're just looking for the right opportunity to get the finish. Just chipping away at the health stats. Taking our time, using the jab straight. Time out a beautifully timed slip straight right there. Go down to the body, come back up to the head, and we barely miss on the lead hook right there. But we catch him right there with a clean body kick. Hurt him. Going for the oh, going for the two body punches. And just because that body health was so low, we were able to get the finish right there. And that's really how you do it against pressure fighters. You go to that body, put him in the mixer, and then you're able to get the nice, solid, clean body KO right there with Nate Diaz. But shout out to the homie Jay Jeezer. If you guys haven't followed him, Go follow him. I'm going to leave a, uh, a link to the channel, to his channel in the description of this video. Go and give him a follow. The dude's one of the nicest dudes in the community, man. No joke. He supports everybody. I see him in everybody's stream. My streams, Romero streams, Prize streams, JMMA streams. He's everywhere, man. One of this, the best guys uh, in the community as well as an up-and-coming content creator. Uh, so make sure you guys go, guys go and drop him a follow and a sub. Uh, sub up to this video or sub up to the channel if you guys are new to the channel I do post UFC 4 content on this channel pretty much daily but until the next video guys take it easy be safe enjoy the rest of your guys day afternoon evening depending on where you guys are watching this from and I will see you guys in the next video